Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick PSA on Ignite Munching because it can affect our DPS pretty significantly in Wrath of Lich King. So I'm going to cover what it is, uh, how much it's affecting our DPS, and what you can do to avoid it. So first, what is Ignite Munching? Well, Ignite Munching is when you lose an Ignite due to two fire spells critting at the exact same timestamp in the logs. And thus the game only registers one of those Ignites and not both of them. And here I have an example from Yurpal taken from the beta to just give an example of what Ignite Munching is, as you can see from the logs. Uh, now this can happen with any two fire spell criticals going off at the exact same time, but typically what happens is it happens with your Pyroblast, right? You get a hot streak proc, you use your Pyroblast hot streak immediately after you cast a fireball, and then they'll land at the exact same time. But it can also happen with Living Bomb and you could munch your Living Bomb. And so, as you can see here from the logs, uh, we have a fireball and a pyroblast. They're hitting and critting at the exact same timestamp. And I'm not going to run through the math here, but you can see that the expected ignite tick should be a lot higher than what it actually is. And that's because the fireball critical is being munched. And so thus the ignite damage that should be coming from the fireball is not actually being uh, contributed to the next ignite. And you're losing out on that 40% extra damage from that uh, fireball essentially. And so you might be asking, why is this significant? Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the new Wrath of Lich King's uh, fire spec that's going to be coming out, you get a, an ability called Hot Streak, where when you score two non-periodic spell criticals in a row using Fireball, Fire Blast, Scorch, Living Bomb, or Frost Fire Bolt, you have a 100% chance that the next Pyroblast you cast will be instant cast uh, within 10 seconds. So essentially what usually happens here, and I can just show a quick example, um, I just have to score two crits in a row. Uh, Five hours later. Okay, I remembered that we have combustion, so uh, here we go. So when you get two in a row, what typically happens then is you're just spamming fireball. You get your hot streak proc in the middle of your fireball cast. Um, and so you get that, and then you go to cast the, the pyroblast, and they go off at the exact same time. Now both of those crit, so now the fireball crit there got munched, and therefore we're losing out on that ignite damage. Now you might be asking, what can we do to in order to avoid this? Is there anything we can do? And there is actually something you can do. You can use a CQS. CQS just cancels your spell queuing. It's basically adding the delay based on your server ping to your next spell cast. And you can make a pyro uh, blast macro, as you see here, adding a CQS before and after. And thus, if you have a, a pyro blast crit, so we'll get you know another hot streak here. Um, might take a few seconds. Uh, now when you go to use that macro that you see I'll be adding here, it adds a slight delay to your pyroblast and thus the it's going to hit at a slightly different time and as long as that's just a tiny bit different in the um, of a timestamp in the logs then you're you're not going to have an ignite munching on either of the spells and so this actually results in a pretty significant dps increase even though the fact that you're adding that delay and thus you're reducing your amount of active spell casting time throughout the entire fight so you might be asking how much damage this is actually costing us and also isn't adding a delay into your pyroblast going to be resulting in a DPS decrease? And the answer is yes, it is resulting in a DPS decrease, but it's the fact that it's the lesser of two evils, right? Uh, you can see this graph here. This is in uh, phase two bis, and it's doing a comparison between fire, including that delay. So the fire uh, salmon looking line is including that CQS delay into your pyroblast. And then the uh, hyphenated orange line here that says no delay is has no delay and thus it has ignite motion and you can see it's a significant dps increase in order to add that delay now if there was no delay here the damage would be even higher there would be if we just theoretically had no ignite munching you didn't have to add a delay um, our dps would be even higher but we ignite munching is here and so until blizzard fixes it if they ever do fix it then we have to deal with it and one way to deal with it is with the delay and by adding that delay you're going to increase your dps significantly now how much is that? Well, Mecha has run some numbers and he's looked at it in phase one BISC all the way up to ICC BIS. And in phase one BIS, we're looking at about 2.5% damage loss due to Ignite Munching. And that'll scale as your gear continues to improve over the course of the expansion. By the time we get to Ice Crown Citadel BIS, we're looking at losing up to 10% of our damage due to Ignite Munching. So while this isn't ideal to have to add a delay into your uh, Pyroblast cast in order to avoid having Ignite Munching, it's going to result in a significant DPS increase for you. Now, a couple caveats on this. First is that for Frostfire build, you don't have to worry about using this Pyroblast macro, and that's because the Frostfire Bolt actually has a different travel time than Fireball, so you don't have to worry about Ignite Munching because it'll land at a different time than your Pyroblast. 
Another caveat or just detail that I want to include is that you don't have to use this pyroblast macro all the time and you actually don't want to be using it all the time. Uh, you mainly just need to be using this anytime you're using the hot streak immediately after a fireball because then your fireball and your pyroblast will be traveling at the exact same time. But if you were going to say, you know, cast a living bomb and then do a pyroblast from a hot streak proc, you wouldn't want to have this, you wouldn't want to use this macro. So you're going to have to have this, if, ideally, if you want to play it optimally, on a separate key bind than your actual pyroblast and you're only going to use the macro if you're following a fireball cast with a hot streak proc lastly if you need a reference document for any of this information go to my discord hit exclamation point munch you'll get a write-up from your bull as well as mecha's graph and an exclamation of it uh, an example from the log so if you need to show this to any other mages just go to my discord hit exclamation point munch and you can take a look at this document and reference anything from there and that's all I got. Huge shout out to the Mage Discord for doing all the testing for this Ignite Munching, as well as Yurple for the write-up, uh, Mecha for his great sim work and the graph, as well as Ossieville, obviously, for the simulation. Just huge shout, -out, shout outs all around to everyone there. And so should Blizzard take action on this and fix Ignite Munching so that we don't need to add delay into our cast in order to fix it ourselves? Uh, they did fix this issue in Cataclysm, but unfortunately, it existed all throughout Wrath of the Ledge King. So what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments. Also, Please help bring awareness to this issue. Uh, the Mage Discord has this lovely Ignite Munching Awareness Ribbon that we're handing out to bring awareness. And we ask that you too, please wear the ribbons when you're streaming, uh, when you go out to restock on Mountain Dew and pizza rolls, uh, you know, tie it to your neighbor's trees, whatever you can do to help bring awareness. And you can find the ribbon at my Discord or Twitch by typing exclamation point munch, as well as find it in the Mage Discord. Uh, as always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and drop me a follow at twitch.tv slash Kateria. It seriously helps me out. And remember, don't be a Kramer. Cheers. Hey, where's your ribbon? Oh, I don't wear them. You don't wear the ribbon? Who do you think you are? Put the ribbon on. Hey, Cedric, Bob, this guy won't wear a ribbon. Who? Who doesn't want to wear the ribbon? <laughs>